Right, here's what I'm on with at the moment. i am uh, got the zigger in. As you can see, I've got that 16 inch, I think, is bucket on. And I'm building myself a manual thumb for it because, uh, well, I can't be. I could order a hydraulic one off eBay or off from somewhere, but I think I can make one that'll do what I need it to do. So far I've only got sort of, I don't know, half an acre, an acre of woodland that wants dead wooding with it. So I'm taking this nice chunk of box section, it's fairly thick, and plonk it on there, drill two holes in it. I might cap it off, I don't know. At least with that I can sort of just tack it on and try it and see how it is. And I've got that piece of channel there that I'm drilling out. I've got a pin sorted out for it. So I'm drilling it out to 25mm uh, and this piece of channel will just be my main piece that sits from there to there and I'll weld two little flats on it and try it and then might maybe add some teeth or add some width or whatever it needs thereafter. But yeah, I've got digger in. It's, we're get, getting there with it. I've got, I painted Quickitch the other day and added a, if you look under here, added a D-ring for lifting stuff and dump put a bit more hydraulic oil in it and cleaned it up a little bit, cleaned the cab a bit and everything's coming together I think it's running lovely, it hasn't put a foot wrong, I've dug some I put some telegraph poles in in our outdoor school, I should have filmed it really but I didn't I was wanting to be getting on and have a play with machine like so got forgotten about but uh, yeah, I'm going to video this for a bit, see how it comes together. I'm using these, uh, what are they? Oh, Hella, Hellia cutters, just like circular cutters rather than using big drill bits. They seem quite, seem quite good. Anyway, I'll carry on. Let's see if it fits. Oof. Well, it might be a bit tight. I'm sure it'll grind down to work. It's a bit of an old and worn pin. In fact, I might just grind it down. a bit of mark where that comes to on and then I can think about getting that I've got to put it on with a magnet and then try it and see what pin wants to be done ah, Well, you never put buckets on with it fully crowded, do you? So, I mean, you can probably draw a line across there and sort of say that if 
that sits. It'll be alright, I think that'll be alright. Yeah, but you never... Because that's crowded right up. You never ever do all with it there as such, do you? Apart from, it just doesn't want to foul on it, does it? You can't put it down there because it'll foul. So if I say that line, none of the other buckets are any different. isn't good. I won't be redoing that. Looks alright that way. Ah, oh, that's irritating, is that? I staggered them two holes that way in that sort of plane, but I didn't do them in that plane. I should have done. Oh, dear. I didn't want to have to recut another one of them. I have got a piece, but anyway, let's have a look what it's going to look like first. Put it with that on there. That should fold up nicely. And that'll drop down with two. I was thinking if I put two bits of flat bar on to avoid that middle tooth. And this whole thing, the whole piece should still work with my little eight inch bucket. I'll probably be using a bit more. I might just have to weld that on slightly skew to compensate. I don't really want to do that though because it'll look a bit of a bugger. Like I say, like I say, I'll probably do this job with it that I've got it for. Well, that I'm doing fun for anyway, and then probably cut it off and save some money to get a nice one. I think if I'm going to buy one, I'm going to buy a hydraulic one because these lines do work and seem alright so one that you can fold away without having to get out of a cab would be quite nice especially if, if you are working in like woodlands and what have you if you're going from if you're just clearing like if the job that you're doing is just grabbing things it's fair enough but if you're trying to dig a trench and clear trees to do it at the same time it'd be nice to have one that folds away hydraulically the only problem I've seen with them hydraulic ones is the other uh, clevis mounting somewhere up here and I'd always be worried about it, you know, stopping this dipper having such a lot, having full travel. But I suppose when you order one you'll specify a sort of rough length or they'll know rough length from that pin to that pin down there. But I just want to get this cobbled together. And then all being well, I can just use it for this job and then take it off again. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do while I can still move the digger about is take bucket off and uh, get arm folded right in so it's easier to weld. So all this quick itch consists of is that big plate and it's just a thread that moves it up and down. It should have a locking safety tab thing in there but it didn't have one and 
I don't lift stuff above people's head as a rule of thumb, so... I mean, I think chances of that coming undone are pretty... Uh, pretty slim. It does happen, I suppose, that's why they make them. I have to be quite careful of the roof here. Right, so there's that bit there to clean up. I need to get it held on square. And I'll have to disconnect the battery for doing this. I think it's the safest way to do it. Right, so I'm back to it. Square that off. Start again. Well, not start again, again, but. Redo that channel. Get the ends square this time and then hopefully. Bit of a shame, I'll have all holes to drill again, but they don't take a lot of drilling. So. Uh, best way to cut this. You might notice these little doodads that I've got in the uh, jaws and what they're just doing is lifting it off otherwise it can nip slightly which isn't isn't great but it's about as close as I can get to that and I think I think I should get the blade through the second one I can always turn it round that nice and tight Well, not a GoPro, this camera set to, um, is set on the uh, head strap and I think I've got the angle right for once, which I don't want to fiddle with. So I'm just going to tack it on, I might put like a, probably a weld on this corner, weld on the far corner, do the bottom two corners, and then I'm going to start, I'm going to get the piece made, which is slightly skew with, which is going to irritate me, but it'll probably do the job that it's going to do in the next few weeks or so, and then that will probably be that. Um, and if I ever get any actual, any more work for one, I'll see, definitely see about just getting a proper hydraulic one for it. So I'm going to get this tacked on. Right, this is where we're at so far. I've got that just tacked on there. I've taken them two pieces and just got them tacked on there. If you look down, I've just put another such a slight curve in it. I think if it, cut, if it tends to roll stuff, I'll just weld a big piece of angle iron somewhere here, just facing down, just as a grip. I might put a piece across here or something like, I don't know, two bits of angle iron, just yay wide. Then on the little eight inch bucket, it can't drop inside the bucket or anything, I guess. I don't want too complicated a going on really, it just wants to be something that grabs stuff at the end of the day. I'm not sure quite what angle to have it at that, at that. I've got it, well, it's just sort of down from 90 degrees to the boom. And the bucket, the bucket will crowd right around up here somewhere, but I don't know. I'm sort of making it up as I go along, as usual, so. I might, I was thinking about trying to make like a, um, use like a tractor top link for the adjuster. Or for the bar, then you can adjust it. 